What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger. We're get back into the road of the show here because I can't talk. We got a three-game set against the Washington Nationals, and as you saw there on the opening screens, their lineup is cold. They do not have great times at the plate in recent days, but can't tell by this one. As bottom of the first, runner on second, and one away as I'm standing in. Washington Nationals already with a three-run lead, three to nothing here in the first inning. And um, let's try the power swing. What the heck? What's the worst that can happen? Anthony Banda on the mound for the Nationals here. He's got a 96-mile-an-hour four-seamer. Nothing else quick. First pitch from the lefty is outside. Four-seamer there does not find the zone. One and O oh, the count after watching that one go by. The next pitch here from Banda. Oh, got a piece of the circle change, but just a smidge out in front of it. Foul ball makes for a one and one count now. The next pitch from Banda here. Come on, big fella. Oh, swing and a miss. Base is stolen successfully, though. So now there's a runner on third and only one away. Tommy Edmund being quite on his feet there. All right, the one-two pitch here from Banda. Just off the outside corner, evens up the count at two and two. That was a tough take. I thought I was going to be heading back to the dugout after that pitch. Got a piece of the circle change in the zone, though. Fouled it off, so two and two is still the count. Come on, big fella. Give me a good pitch to swing at. Oh, got a piece of the four-seamer at the top of the zone. So it remains a two-and-two two count after a couple of foul balls here on two-strike pitches. Oh, got me to swing through the curveball below the knees there. Got me hook, line, sinker. And that strikeout is a second out here in the bottom of the first. Still a three-nothing ball game in the top of the third. Runners on first and second. Nobody out for Johan Mises. He's 0-for-1 on the day. And got an 0-1 count here against starter Pablo Gonzalez. Flip to the shortstop, covering after that ground ball up the middle. 4-6-3, a double play. And now there's two away with a run around third. Oof, 5 to nothing to score. Now in the bottom of the third, runners on first and second, two away as I'm standing in for the second time. As you all remember, I struck out in my first at-bat, but at least it was a fairly long at-bat. First pitch in this one, though, just misses the outside corner and it's just below the knees. So 1-0 the count now in this at-bat. Come on, Banda, give me a good one to swing at. Oh, that's not it. Four-seamer low and inside, swing and a miss. One and one the count after that horrific pitch to swing at. Next pitch, though. Check swing on a curveball well below the knees. And I'm looking at one and two count right in the face here. All right, the first two-strike pitch of this at-bat is inside. Four-seamer there evens up the count at two and two. He hasn't found the zone yet, but I've swung at two pitches. Holy cow. The 2-2 pitch got me again. Dang it. That strikeout with the 2-3 to three put out. Locking it in. But locking it in. Retires the side. So, yeah, choking at the plate here in that one. A pair of strikeouts now for my 0 for 2 line score. Standing in for the third time here in the bottom of the sixth. The Nationals have a 6 to nothing lead on us now. First pitch in this at-bat from Anthony Banda, who's still on the mound, is in the zone. Got a piece of it and fouled it off. Just a smidge out in front of it there. So an 0-1 count after putting one in foul ground down the third baseline. Oh, and I swing at a curveball way low and inside. And I'm in an 0-2 hole in a hurry here. This is uh, going from bad to worse in this game. Banda has got my number. We watch a four-seamer there well below the knees. So at least we do earn a ball in this at-bat. One and two the count. Here's the next pitch. Check swing on the curveball inside. Dang it. There's the hat trick, boys and girls. Damn. Not good. Top of the seventh runner on third and two away for Johan Mises. He's 0 for 3 on the day with a strikeout on his line score. He's got an 0-1 count here against reliever Steven Matz. Here's the windup and the pitch. And that's 
Not, ooh, I thought that was going to be over my head, but okay. Line drive to me at second base, and that retires the side in the top of the seventh. We're going on to the stretch, kids. Don't forget your Cracker Jack. Bottom of the eighth. Cardinals are no longer shut out. It is a six to one ball game. Runner on first and nobody out as I'm standing in with that glorious 0 for 3. All three of my plate appearances being strikeouts so far in the game. And, oh man, I don't like any of these. Uh, we'll try the home run one just because I don't want to be doing the contact or power swing at this point. Thad Ward is now on the mound in relief for the Nationals. I can't see how fast his four-seamer is, but he's got a cutter at 90. That's about it. Here we go. First pitch. There's a 12-6 curve off the inside corner. 26,350 in attendance today. Watching us get our butts handed to us by the Nationals here. Oh, swinging to miss the four-seamer at 94 miles an hour there in the zone. One and one the count after that great whiff. Pretty sure the guys in the dugout almost got bowled over by the breeze. And swinging to miss the 12-6 curve at the knees there. Had me way out in front. And it's a one and two count in a hurry. Am I going to get the golden sombrero? Not on that pitch. That 12-6 curve was off the plate away. So the count is now evened up at two and two. The next pitch from Ward is a swing and a miss. Here's the golden sombrero, kids. 0 for 4, all four being strikeouts. Washington takes the win there, 6-1, to one, the final score. We're going to move on to game number two. While that one's loading in, I'd like to remind everybody, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. You can also like and comment on this video, as all of those things don't cost you a penny, and they all help me out with the YouTube algorithm. Here we go, top of the first. Axel Badu is at the plate, hitting 225 for the Nationals here. One out, nobody on for him. He's got an 0-2 count here against starter Frankie Montes. Here's the windup and the pitch. Weird bunt down the first baseline, and uh, first baseman takes that to the bag. Easy play there. Now there's two outs in the top of the first. Bottom half of the first. Runners on first and second. Nobody out as I'm standing in batting third today. The batting average has dropped to a 237 after all of those strikeouts in yesterday's game. And we are going to just try to drive in a run going to require a base hit but here we go Josiah Gray is on the mound for the Nationals hits 97 miles an hour on his four seamer also hits 97 with his two seamer circle change at 90 here's the first pitch and late swing on the four seamer at 95 is fouled off so that is strike one all right come on big fella that was a good pitch to swing at honestly and here we go the 0-1 pitch now is almost the exact same spot another late swing and 0 and 2 the count after a pair of fastballs get fouled off the two strike pitch got a piece of the knuckle curve at the knees very early swing there somehow got a piece and fouled it off 0 and 2 remains the count pitch number four of the at bat from gray there's a swing and a miss at the slider that is five strikeouts in a row for me in this series you guys are keeping track of that at home. That is not a good start to the game for me. On, Top of the second, nobody out, nobody on. We have Johan Mises at the plate hitting a lowly 206. He's got a one and two count here against Frankie Montas. Here's the pitch. Tries to find a hole on the right side. No dice for you, sir. Throw to first in plenty of time, and that's the first out here in the top of the second. The next batter is Drew Mendoza. He's hitting 251, though. That's not horrible. He's got a full count against Frankie Montas. Here is the pitch. Oh, yeah. Easy play there. Two batters, two ground outs to the second baseman now here in the top of the second. I like it. I like it a lot. Bottom of the third. One out, nobody on. It's a 2-0 ball game. Cardinals have put a couple of runs on the board now. I'm standing in for the second time in this one against Josiah Gray. 0 for 1 with that strikeout earlier. First pitch is low and inside. Four-seamer there does not find the zone. And it's a 1-0 and count because of it. Come on, big fella. Give me something good to swing at. Four-seamer there on the outer third. A little too late on the swing there. It's fouled off, so 1-1 and the count after sending that one into the netting down the right field line. The next pitch... Oh, four-seamer just below the knees. Check swing did not help. 
One and two is the count now after that technical swing and a miss. Got a piece of the knuckle curve there on the outside corner, though, and fouled it off, so the count remains one and two. Just a little bit out in front of that, not much of a shocker. Next pitch is off the plate away and below the knees, so the count is now evened up at two and two. Come on, man, give me something good. That's not it. Four seamer there got me to swing through it. Six strikeouts in a row. That is not good. I have had six straight strikeouts against the Nationals here. We're going to come back to it, though. Top of the six. Runner on first and two away from Michael Chavis, who's 0 for 1 on the day. Cardinals still holding on to that 2 0 lead here. The 0 2 pitch from Montes is on its way. Ground ball up the middle. We'll take the out at first. You betcha, there it is. Top of the six is now over. We're going to move on, shall we? Not like we got a choice in the matter. Bottom half of the inning. Nobody out, nobody on. I am 0 for 2 on this uh, on the game here with strikeouts all over the place. Every at-bat's been a strikeout for me in this series. First pitch from Josiah Gray is inside. Starting this one off with a 1-0 count, I have 169 strikeouts here already. Goodness. First, <laughs> oh, gosh, I don't even want to contemplate it. 2-0 the count, though, after watching that one go by. I didn't even really pay attention to the pitch. And a four-seamer there sent out into right field. At least it's not a strikeout. I'm still rocking the over on the series, but I have broke my strikeout streak at six straight. Two. Top of the eighth, it's a 3 nothing ball game. Cardinals in the lead. There's one out, nobody on for Luis Garcia, who's one for three on the day, but got a one and two count here against starter Frankie Montas. This is his 99th pitch of the game. Simple ground ball here. We'll get it to first in plenty of time. And now there's two away in the top of the eighth. Bottom of the eighth. Steven Strasburg on the mound for the Nationals now in relief. Intriguing. All right, there is one out and nobody on for me here. And, uh, oh, no. Only swing at pitches inside the zone. Okay. Technically, I think you can win this by not swinging at any of them. I have not tried it, but I'd be curious to see if it works. Oh, I swung at a four-seamer off the inside corner, so there goes that dynamic challenge. Owen won the count after fouling off that inside four-seamer. <laughs> the 0-1 pitch now from Strasburg is grounded to the left side. Shortstop gets a glove on it, throws across the diamond to get me easily for the second out here in the bottom of the eighth. Cardinals do take the win, though. Three to nothing to score in this one. Let's go to the rubber match game number three and see who can win the series. Come on, loader in. There we go. All right, top of the first. C.J. Abrams leading things off here for Washington. Uh, he's hitting 281 on the season, so it's good to see that. That's a good batting average for a leadoff spot. 2-1 pitch here from Chad Madden. Oh, sliding stop and got him at first. How about that? <laughs> Sorry there, C.J. Abrams. All right, still top of the first. Runner on first and two away. Drew Mendoza is at the plate for the Nationals. He's hitting 251 on the season. Got an 0 2 count in this at bat, though. So here's the wind up and the pitch from Chad Madden. Ground ball up the middle. Easy play at first. That retires the side. No damage done on the scoreboard. No hits. One error committed by the Cardinals, but no hits, no runs. And uh, yeah, we're moving on. Bottom half of the first. Two outs and nobody on as I'm batting third here. Sixto Sanchez is on the mound for the Nationals in this one. He's got himself a 90 mile an hour changeup. 97 on the sinker, 101 on the four seamer, 91 on his slider, and 86 on the curveball. First pitch from him. Oh, sinker on the outside corner. Swing, got a piece. 0 oh, 1 after that foul tick. Second pitch of the at bat. Uh, watch that sinker go by. It was over the outside corner, but below the knees. So one and one to count. Going off speed? Nope. He's going to, well, yeah, I guess. Changeup is off speed. But that was up and in. So two and one the count. I'm ahead in the count, I think, for the first time all series. Swinging to miss the changeup below the knees there on the inside third of the plate. Evens up the count at two and two. 
Yeah, my batting average is really suffering here. Next pitch from Sanchez is inside. Sinker at 96. That zipped right through there. Full count now with two away here in the bottom of the first. Let's see what we can do with the payoff pitch. I'm going to pop a slider up there into shallow center field. Center fielder's really running in for it, but plenty of time to get there. And the first inning is now over. No score. We're going to move on. This time to the top of the third. C.J. Abrams is at the plate again. I robbed him of a base hit in the first inning there. He's got a runner on first and nobody out here. Got a two and two count against Chad Madden. We're looking double play all the way. There's the pitch. He kind of chops one to the first baseman. Takes the runner at second base there, so I guess that would be a 3-6 put out. So fielder's choice, C.J. Abrams does not get a hit on that one, but he is on base. Bottom half of the inning, Washington opened up a can there in the third inning. 5-1 to one is the score now. Nationals with a four-run lead. There's a runner on first and two away as I'm standing in here. Um, we're just going to go for advancing the runner here. I uh, didn't have the best uh, time in my first at-bat against Sixto Sanchez, but here we go. First pitch in this one. It's a changeup. Swung early. Made it a little bit of contact, but not enough to do anything good with it. So 0-1 oh the count after that foul tick. Next pitch is off the plate away. Sinker at 96 doesn't find the outside corner, so 1-1 one and one is the count after that one. The next pitch from Sixto Sanchez. Right down the middle, hot shot to third. He takes it the short way to second. And the third inning is now over. Coming back to it, bottom of the sixth. The Nationals now have a five-run lead, 6-1 to one the score. There's nobody out and nobody on as I'm standing in here to lead things off in the bottom of the sixth. And, uh, gosh. Let's try to get on base after taking the first pitch. We still have Sixto Sanchez on the mound for the Nationals here. First pitch is below the knees, so that's a good idea to take that one. So we have the 1-0 count to start things off here. Now if we can just get on base. Oh, got a piece of the sinker way off the plate away. Shouldn't have swung at that one either. Foul ball makes it a 1-1 one one count here. Should be 2-0 oh, though. Oh, grip it and rip it. Change up right down the middle. Sent out the left center field. Is that going to get up? Get up, get up. You betcha. Cheap seats it is. We actually succeed in a dynamic challenge. And yeah, Cardinals are now only down four runs. 6-2 to two the score after me hitting home run number 20 on the season. Top of the eighth, it's a six to three ball game here. Washington in the lead. Bases are loaded two away here uh, for Colton Welker. He's over three on the day. Andrew Chafin on the mound in relief. The one and two pitch from him is grounded towards the right side. We'll get a glove on that though. And we get him at first. Bases loaded, jam. We left him fully loaded, sirs. Let's move on, shall we? Bottom of the eighth, one out, nobody on. Finally broke my 0 for in the series in my last at-bat. I am now 1 for 11 on the series. We have Tanner Rainey on the mound now for Washington. He throws a 99-mile-an-hour four-seamer, 98 on the two-seamer. Slider also hits 91. First pitch is a four-seamer at 98, way inside 34,390 paid attendance in this game. They're watching the Cardinals get their butts handed to them again. 6-3 to three is the score currently. Next pitch, the four-seamer sent out to the right field corner. Come on, stay fair, stay fair. Oh, it's off the wall. Right fielder bobbles it. We're going three. Oh, yeah, come on, baby. Another triple. That is like my fourth triple of the season. you got to be kidding me. I am not a triples hitter by any stretch of the imagination, but I will take them when I can get them. Oh, it's not enough, though, as the Cardinals do take the loss 6-3, to three, the final score here in game number three. So the Nationals win two of three when they come to play in St. Louis. So that's uh, not the best outcome, but it is the outcome we've got. So then, since the series is over, that means it's also going to be the end of this episode. For those of you still hanging out with me, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can even do some fun social media things. And, uh, yeah... We will see you in the next one, though.